Hey everyone, welcome to the Sonic Challenge episode number two. Now this week we've come to answer a question from young Ethan in Ogden, Utah about how does the spinning golf ball top work. So today we'll talk to a real expert to get a great explanation. Today we're here with uh, noted university physicist Rondo Jeffrey to explain the principle behind how this is able to work. Gyroscopic precession and gyroscopic stabilization are the keys. And we spoke on the phone as we were setting this up, and I love the definition. I love to hear that gyroscopic stabilization, and uh, and I came up with a few guesses of what I think that means. Okay, shoot. Yeah. So, um, to me, when when you kind of mix those big words, gyroscopic and stabilization, this is clearly physiological phenomenon that occurs when a human being ingests diet coke and Mentos at the exact same time. Mmm, that would produce gas, but not stabilization. Okay, I have another guess. This is a um, this is a noxious chemical that occurs when you mix fescue number seven with Mountain Dew and children's cough syrup. Ooh, that's worse. That's no good. No okay. good. All right, my last guess: gyroscopic precession is the feeling you get right before you're about to take your university finals. Ooh, that might be close. You're ready to jump off a building. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Why don't you tell us what is gyroscopic stabilization? You write like a university professor. Fast. It's Thank good. You. Stable. What does stable mean? Well, I stays the same, right? Yeah. And what is the gyro part? Gyroscope. Some kind of rotational motion. Right? Yeah. Oh. One of the things that Ethan was wondering is, well, first of all, it doesn't seem doesn't seem like it's something that heavy on something that light. You know, these shapes that are so opposite each other should ever work like this. But well, it's, first of all, you got really good glue there. <laughs> yep, hot glue is the staple of any really good Sonic Dad project. Yes, <laughs> we use a lot of hot glue, and so. Um, so when we, let's uh, create a little space here. So when we, when we, uh, when we create the, the spinning top. So now as long as the point stays pretty much in one place and it's vertical, then you just see it spinning. But eventually as it slows down, it's gonna start to tip over or you can force it to tip over. Let's see if also. I can. That's just amazing. Slide your spring into there. Yeah. It's not on the surface. No, it's it's up above. There and then you're saying I, once once the I forced it hit the surface. Once the friction kind of wears wears it down and it hits, then off it goes. Here we have a, a record from my ear. Okay. What is that? That is called a long playing or LP. They're making a comeback. They are. It's yeah. true. I've seen them. Yeah. Most people use these. That's even out of date now. That is out now of date. Now, now it's all MP, on your MP3. MP3 player. But anyway, these work really good for showing stabilization. If you just swing this, it just flops. But if we give it some rotation, now all of a sudden it maintains the same orientation in space, no matter how you swing it. So it's stable in that sense. I see. So you have rotation and you have stability. Now if we do this with a smaller disc, like this CD, these old styles. Yeah, that's right. Not quite as old as Yesterday's old. technology. <laughs> they work too, not quite as well as the bigger record, and that's because this one has more mass and it's distributed out more. Gotcha, that makes so sense. So it has greater stability as it rotates. So that's the stabilization part by rotation. Now, what about the precession? Well, the precession has to do with when you try to change the direction that axis is pointing. And we can see that with this uh, loaded bicycle wheel. <clears throat> when I was a kid, I had a old swim bike with large balloon tires. 
okay? And once I got going, I could take my hands off the handlebars and just ride because the wheels had so much stability because of the rotation. You can see that same thing today with motorcycles. When a motorcycle is stopped, he has to have his feet down to keep from tipping over. Sure. But when it gets going, then the wheels are rotating and they give you the stability. Now to see what the precession is, you can take this loaded wheel and that now is very difficult to change its direction. Try hmm. Oh yeah. What does it do? It's oh, that's of, weird. Yeah, it really. Take your arm off, don't you? <laughs> I kind of like this. <sighs> There's a story of a physicist who put a gyroscope, one of these things, in a suitcase. Got it spinning and went to the hotel. The busboy took his suitcase and as he went around the corner, he about took your arm off. Because <laughs> he had the gyroscope built into the suitcase, which of course he didn't know. I, I've kind of known that you physicists were a little crazy Just that Just a way. little bit crazy. Love That's it. Right. You have to be a little bit crazy to, to do that. <laughs> anyway, so here's what the precession is. If you try to change the direction that this is spinning, in this case by gravity, instead of falling over, the axis changes direction. Hmm. That's the precession. That's what your top is doing. It's precessing. Now, how does the precession work? Well, suppose that we look at this when it's spinning. Gravity is trying to tip it down, right? Mm -hmm. But if I'm trying to change the axis, the direction the axis points, now, rather than the velocity going this way, it tries to go that way. And that's why it felt and like it, it was as pulling it goes away. that way, what it does is it moves the whole wheel. So it's just a matter that the, the gravity, which is trying to change the direction of rotation, causes it to actually precess. Now this is just like the golf ball top, only probably less expen more expensive. <laughs> well, right? certainly. Because if your dad plays golf, you just gotta wait till you got it leaves and you've got yeah, all your right. materials. You've got all your stuff right there. <laughs> if we put this uh, on this little stand, the string will back up, but that's okay. Now there's your golf ball top right there because it's precessing about its center of gravity. Uh huh. And you can see and it just goes and goes and goes. Now eventually it's gonna slow down because of friction, and as it does, the angle of precession becomes greater until eventually it hits the surface. All right, so in, in a sentence, how would I describe to someone who's never heard of gyroscopic stabilization? Rotating objects have a stability about the rotation axis, just due to their rotation. That is exactly what I would have said. Good. <laughs> hey, we really appreciate your time today. Thank you so yes, much. Yes, certainly. What an absolute blast working with Professor Jeffrey. We'll definitely use him in the future. Ethan, I hope we answered your question as far as how the golf ball top works. If you have a question, please email it to the email address below and we'll do everything we can to highlight it in a future Sonic Challenge episode. So from all of us here at Sonic Dad to you, this is Abe signing off.